Okay, so we're going to look at some fossils here, and there are many different methods of uh, preservation covered here. Really, we're going to talk about the different phyla. And so, this one um, is from Phylum mollusca. It is a gastropoda. This is number one for you guys. Um, gastropoda, because the center is, co is the center of the coil is pulled out to one side. So, Phylum mollusca, class gastropoda. This one is coral, so phylum cnidaria um, or cylenterata, either way. And that one's a coral. This is original. The two are original. And so this is uh, phylum arthropoda, trilobita. Whether you call it tri phylum trilobited or not is fine. Um, this one is carbonized. This is similar to uh, modern day insects. This one is a blastoid. And it is the head part of a crinoid. And so we're going to say phylum echinodermata. Notice the five-fold radial symmetry. Um, and really it's a blastoid, which is a component part of a sea lily. Uh, phylum crino or class crinoidea. These ones are pieces. So this, what number is this? Number five? These ones are pieces of uh, trilobites. And so again... Um, Phylum arthropoda, class tri trilobita. This one, the sort of corkscrew one, is phylum bryozoa. Bryozoa. That's that thing that had the screen around it. These ones here um, are the donut shaped sections of the crinoid stem. So they're phylum uh, echinodermata, class crinoidea. This one here is uh, an old, old, old sea urchin. And so this again is uh, phylum echinodermata, class echinoidea. This one here, and what number is this one? Number nine. This one is, um, notice it has radial symmetry. This one is a cup coral. So phylum cnidaria or cilentorata. And this one in particular is class rugosa. And these ones are the screen. I don't know if you can see that in your camera or not. That's the screening of bryozoa. So this is number 10. It is the screening of bryozoa. So that's the thing that would have been wrapped around the um, sort of corkscrew shaped core. Okay. Next one. Oh, we'll go over it again later. Number 11. Again, this one is a phylum mollusca. This is original hard parts. Um, so modern day shell. And this is a gastropoda, class gastropoda, because the center is pulled out to one side. This one's going to be real hard to see. Um, on this one, I can barely see it myself. So it's number 12. It has bilateral symmetry. It looks like a little tiny clam, but it has bilateral symmetry. So what it is, is a brachiopoda, phylum brachiopoda, very small. This one is uh, number, what is this, number 12, 13? This one is uh, fossilized dinosaur poo. Uh, we call them coprolites. Imagine it's soft parts originally, so that is very, very, very rarely preserved. But it's sort of a geology funny. Um, yeah, so phylum vertebrata from a dinosaur. This one is a plant leaf. It is carbonized, so carbonization. And so, or I guess kingdom plantae, I guess. These ones are coiled up things, I guess, so sort of like a snail, except they're coiled up and the center is not pulled out to one side. And so what that means is that these are cephalopods, so phylum mollusca class cephalopoda. These have been replaced, so that's replacement. This one, again, is another one of these sea urchin ones. On the top, you might be able to see a five-fold radial symmetry. Um, so this is class Echinodermata, or sorry, Phylum Echinodermata, class Echinoidea. This one again, radial symmetry, but not fivefold. This is another one of those rugosas. So that is a coral, or Phylum Cilentorata, or Cnidaria. And this one, I'm not sure what number I'm on here, but this one is a plant, part of the trunk of a tree, an old, old, old tree called a Calamites. This one is uh, carbonized. And this one is another one of these blastoids. Hopefully you can see the characteristic shape of them. They have a five-fold radial symmetry, which is not perfectly preserved here. But that one is uh, class Echinodermata, or sorry, Phylum Echinodermata, class Crinoidea. 
And this one is a complete or fairly complete uh, trilobite. So phylum arthropoda, class trilobita. And this one is a poorly preserved, well, not, not too bad, I suppose, um, gastropod. So phylum mollusca, class gastropoda. This one here is a fairly intact crinoid stem. Again, it would have five-fold radial symmetry if you looked inside, so class echinodermata. Um, sorry, phylum echinodermata, class uh, crinoidea. This one looks like a clam, except if you look at the individual shell, it has bilateral symmetry. And the bilateral symmetry indicates that this is a um, phylum bra uh, brachiopoda. brachiopoda. This one is, uh, again, a leaf, so kingdom plantae. This is number 24. And it is carbonized. That plant is actually still in existence today. This is a ginkgo, so ginkgo biloba. And this one is a plaster cast. Uh, so this is number 25. A plaster cast. Again, it is coiled up, so it looks like a gastropod, except the center is not pulled out to one side. And so that would indicate that this is a cephalopod, so a phylum mollusca, class cephalopoda. And this sort of leafy shaped thing, if you look down inside the, the cones, you can see um, a radial symmetry. This is coral, and so phylum salantarata or cnidaria. Okay, that is not a rugosa, however. And this broken up one is, it looks again like a clam, except the two valves, the two shells, are not mirror images of each other. They are not symmetrically on the valves or shells. And so this one, again, is a brachiopoda. Brachiopoda. This one is part of a bone. Inside, you can see the marrow, I suppose, of the bone, the haversian canals, things like that. And you can see the end of the bone, or the... Oh, what's the end of the bone called? What's the end of the bone called? The part that sort of crystallizes. Oh, uh, anyways. All right, so that one is from phylum vertebrata. And that's permineralized. This one is original hard parts. Now, you can see the iridescence, I hope, on this uh, shell here. And this is one of those uh, phylum uh, mollusca salentorata. No, wait a minute. Phylum mollusca cephalopoda. So a cephalopod, but it was not coiled up. So it's sort of like a nautilus, except they were not coiled up. On this one here, it's kind of hard to see. It is coiled up, but the center is pulled out to one side. That makes it phylum mollusca gastropoda. That's a snail. On this one, again, that's a uh, clamshell, and it has bilateral symmetry, which means it's really not a clam. It's really a brachiopod, again. Brachiopods are very good index fossils. This one here, also very dark and hard to see, that's, again, another trilobite. Phylum arthropoda, trilobita. And this one is a very spectacular fossil of wood. Hopefully it's obvious that that's wood. Um, this is permineralized. It is uh, kingdom plantae, I suppose. And okay, so I'm just going to highlight the difference between uh, phylum mollusca, class polysipoda, that's clams, and brachiopods, that's phylum brachiopoda. Totally different phylum. Anyways, a clam, um, hopefully you can see, has, of the two different shells, they are mirror images of each other. And that's called bivalve, we call the shells valves, bivalve symmetry. And so the bivalve symmetry um, means that the two shells are a mirror image of each other. And so that's what defines a clam, which is, again, phylum mollusca, class pelisipoda. Anyways, within the one shell, maybe you can see that the left side and the right side of the same shell are asymmetrical. And so it does not have bilateral symmetry, it has bivalve symmetry. That's polysipoda. With a brachiopod, a brachiopod is also clam-like. This one has two shells. It's a fossil from way back in the day. Um, and so this one has two separate shells, and the two separate shells are not mirror images of each other. 
does not have bivalve symmetry. That means it isn't a clam. And this one's broken, so maybe I'll show you a different one. There's a little tiny one. I know that's really, really, really hard to see. Maybe I'll see if I can zoom in on that. A little bit. Now, maybe it's not even in focus. Anyways, maybe you can see that the two shells are not mirror image, images of each other. And you're looking straight down the, uh, I suppose, the divide line between the two shells. And the left side is a mirror image of the right side. Oops. I wish I could focus this thing better. Anyways, that's bilateral symmetry. Maybe I'll show you on this one. Bilateral symmetry, the two sides. Now on this one, the left side of the same shell is a mirror image of the right side, again, of the same shell. So there's the symmetry line right there. And the left side of the same shell is a mirror image. That's bilateral symmetry. That sort of defines uh, bivalve as being a brachiopod. It's phylum brachiopoda not phylum mollusca. Clams are phylum mollusca. Okay, that's it. Bye for now.